Hello, this is Tom Sillis. I'm the CEO of wetcrow.com. We're a platform for uh, for home all homes all types of home services. Uh, we pre-price the most common services. They're you know they're predefined, like installing a toilet, hanging pictures on the wall. We you know if you're doing pressure washing, you know we we uh, price it by. Uh, you know, based on the size of the home, okay? And you as a handyman or, or service provider can, can change the price and put your own price in and, you know, based on your area. You know, you know how much things are going for in your area, so you'll have a better feel for that, okay? If you want to charge less, you can. If you want to charge more, you can. I, you know, I prefer to charge a little bit more and go into the better neighbors. And I'm, you know, that's what I do. But anyway, the topic of this video is uh, top SEO tricks to to uh, rank your handyman website higher. Okay, it's no surprise that, you know, organic search is the best way to get a customer. If somebody searches on Google, they find you. Uh, that's the ideal situation. Well, the reality is you know, you've got a lot of competition. You've got guys like me uh, that are ranking pretty high because we're, you know, we specialize in that, okay? We get a lot of business because of that. Uh, you know, we, we have titles like that, you know, like, for example, near me. One of the top words you want to use in your in your SEO words is handyman near me, if that's where you are, handyman, okay? That way they find you because when you have that in there, people type that in. If that's in there, it's going to rank higher. It's just logical. Whether or not, it doesn't matter where you're at, it's going to rank. If somebody's in, if you're, they're going to, they're going to, uh, you know, Google's going to show the people that are closest to you that are in your town. So if you put near me, Google automatically knows that that's a location-based uh, search, and they're going to find the handyman that's in, in the town. So if you're in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, for example, and some of these searches, and they type in uh, handyman near me, you're probably going to show up pretty high. You're not going to be as high as... Uh, as Angie List, uh, those guys in uh, Yelp, those guys are very good at what they do. They have uh, like top 10, uh, you know, they rank high, you know, for whatever reason, Google likes that. Uh, so top 10 handymen in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, for example, or Yonkers, New York, doesn't matter, wherever you're at. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, but of course, if you're not a, if you're not a set like ours, we can do it. Uh, because we have multiple handymen, you unless you have a bunch of handymen, you can't do that. And because you, you got to show, you know, you don't have to show the names of the companies because we don't do that. But you know, we say our top ten handymen are rated, are ranked, and we only put the top ten to come out and and uh, and do your jobs for you. Okay, so we explain that when when somebody you know lands on the landing page, we put that in the paragraph on on the page, so uh, so they understand why they saw that. Okay, uh, so that's one of the things. Now, uh, there's other words too. You have local. Now, if you if you're only in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it's easy. You put in if you're a local handyman, you're going to put in um, best handyman or top uh, top one handy top handyman in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You put that in your your search uh, because it's gonna it's gonna rank you higher. Okay, we already know we know that's going to happen, and you're going to have to put <laughs> handyman. Near me, and there is another uh, uh, phrase in your keyword search. Okay, so that's how you do it. Make sure somebody does it in your, and then when they when they do the view uh, page source, it shows up pretty high up on your uh, page. You gotta be, you gotta know, you gotta test that, and you gotta make sure you uh, tell that to you whoever programs the site for you. Tom, I'm, I'm gonna make sure one of the things that's gonna be in the contract is you're gonna, I gotta make sure that's on uh, when I look at the view source, it's gonna be up there near the title. It's not gonna be way down below. Okay, uh, if you know how to do view source any page, you can right click on it, view source, and you can see where you can look at the, underneath the title. There's, it says title. You want to see what you know where the, the the keywords are. Meta. You'll see meta equals keywords, and then you'll see the the keywords in there. Okay. Then you see the description. The same kind of thing. You're going to put in there the the top handyman in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, near me. Boom. That right there. That one sentence is going to get you much higher. You might you might rank on the first page. Maybe you won't. But at least you got a better chance at it. The other thing you want to do is get one of those uh, Google Places listings. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, uh, you know, have somebody help you with that. Uh, you know, do it. But I'd rather you do it yourself because you want to make sure the, that the postcard that they sent out to verify your address comes to you. You don't want to give it to somebody else where they take it and steal your listing, and then they that like Angelus does that, and they put, uh, you know, they take your even your domain after it was and they create a website. And they generate leads from that, and then they sell the leads to forty guys like like you, and you're and then you're at the bottom of the list when when you call back. 
okay? So, you know, please, uh, you know, learn how to do this the right way. Uh, study that. Google Place listing is really good. Don't ever go Google local uh, thing. That's very expensive. You're going to pay $100 a lead. It's not worth it for unless you're doing at least $500 uh, jobs, okay? Then it might be worth it. It may be. But, you know, think, think again. If somebody calls you, they may... You know, you're not answering the phone. They're not going to leave a message. You just spend 100 bucks because, you know, Google charged you for the call. You, they called your number, whether it's a vanity number or it's your number. They called your number. That counts. That's 100 bucks come out of, your, out of your pocket. You're going to be broke very quick if you do that. Google local. Now, Google local listing. Now, that's different. They still use your, your Google Places uh, the, in the Google Maps listing. You want to definitely do, uh, do that with your website. You don't want to do the Google Local because they take your website out of there because they, they don't want the person going to your website. They want, them, they, want, they want them to call you, which is stupid because if you're out there working and you don't have a, somebody answering the phone, you're going to miss the call. And it's going to cost you 100 bucks on average. So don't go that route, please. I, I tell people don't do that. Uh, so I did a lot of videos on that. If you look at my, if you look at my channel, subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and start reading all my videos on on this topic because I explain a lot of this stuff uh, in other videos as well. I do, I deep, I dig more into it. Uh, but every bit of help you get is going to help you uh, make more money. They're going to, you're going to get more people come to your website, and uh, you know, especially if you do the Google, the Google Maps uh, listing. Uh, it's called, they call it Google My Business. They, they have different names. They always change the name all the time. But you'll find it. You'll see that there, and uh, you can uh, go in there and, and set one up, okay? You have a link on there. When you go there, you'll see a link, and you can uh, list your business. And then you put in the stuff. You, you want to put a good description. Put some pictures of jobs before and after. Always do that. Post them on Facebook. Have a pace, Facebook page separate from your personal so when people uh you know they they uh what do you call it they dm you uh you know they direct message you they'll go right to your uh page it won't clutter your phone you want to have a separate thing for that so that when you when you search in your chats it goes to your different page it doesn't clutter your main page and all of a sudden your your lit your personal uh family thing is all the way down at the bottom and you can't find their their link <laughs> to talk to them <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so learn about that as well. I tell I tell you everything that you need to know that'll help you save you a lot of grief. Now you're gonna put on there before and after pictures. When you go do a job, you do take a before picture, then you take an after picture. Those are the, that when you know, people see the amazing difference. That's where you're gonna shine, and that's where you wanna make sure you do it. And take good pictures and put them on there before and after. Have them edited. If if you can't do it, get, hire somebody. Uh, to do it very cheap. There are a lot of people that will do it for you very cheaply. You can find them on 5R. Uh, you know, they can do that. They edit the picture, tell them I want this done, and they, they'll before and after. You can search the before and after uh, uh, photo editing, and they'll tell you. And then you send them two pictures, they'll put it before and after on the before and after one, and they'll fix it for you and send it back to you. It might cost you 10 bucks, okay? Because they're working in Bangladesh or wherever. So, you know, you're going to save a lot of money doing that. So you do that for every job, then you post it on Facebook, or you can do it yourself. Post it together. You uh, you know you you uh, get a video editing. You pull in the two pictures and you type in a caption below uh, before after. I mean you can do it. It's not really hard to do. If one of your kids can do it, uh, then let them help you with that. Okay, it's not rocket science. I'm but you know if you don't know, if you don't feel comfortable doing, it, you want it to look good, then obviously then go the five hour uh, route. You know it's F I. V E R R dot com. I use them a lot, so for different stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. I hope I did. Uh, you know, the, I mean, the main reason was SEO tricks to have you rank higher. Uh, but I think I given you a whole synopsis. So, like we said, to rank high. Remember we, what I said about the near me. So, top handyman near me in and your city name. Okay. Uh, so you want to put that in there. That that at least will get you there for the keywords. You do that in your description as well. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna fare very well. Okay. Then if you want to put if you have a lot in the description, you can also put in there if you have room because you can only have 250 characters. I think so. You can put comma uh, uh, install uh, plumbing electrical. If you do that, you can put that in there. 
uh, you could put on uh, TV mounting, uh, you know, like that, all that stuff, pressure washing, if you do that, you know, whatever, you could put that comma that. So they get an idea of what you do. If people search that term, you're going to pick up a lot of that because that's a very, those are very common services. So, uh, so that's it. I hope I covered everything. I talked about your website. Make sure you have a nice website. You have a, a Facebook page. You're going to ref, you're going to reference your website on there. You're going to reference your website on the Google, uh, places listing so that they come to your site they can book an appointment with you you have you there you could pay 10 bucks a month and get a, a, a appointment booking they you're going to go out and look at their at their uh, thing to give them a call if it's if it's a common service you can list the price for that on, on your website they click on it they they say uh, they they book it and it goes right to your booking page and it, it puts in install a toilet for 225 and you tell them they have a, a check made out to you uh, for that whatever and and you know you can you can streamline a lot of these things so you can make more money, okay. And watch my other video. I'm I'm gonna try to put a link on it after I get everything up and running. Uh, it'll be it's gonna be probably uh, 24 hours from now. Today is is Friday the 13th, so it won't be on until the 14th. I'll have it fixed, and I'll have a link on the top uh, marketing uh, methods for handymen. That's gonna help you tremendously as well. I think those two videos you definitely want to watch, and I think you're going to learn a lot. I talk about doing the door hangers and all that and, and making sure you answer your phone, okay? So I talk about that, too. I want to make sure you're successful. That's what I'm here to do. So subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and let's, let's make some money, okay? That's what we're here to do. I'm here to help you make money, okay? Even if you don't use us, uh, you know, I'm... I'm here to help people because that's what that's what I do. Okay, because we're getting very busy now, and uh, yeah, we do have a shortage of handymen, and we can use you if you sign up on wetcrawler.com in the link below. Uh, you know, we give you uh, you can earn money from uh, digital currency as well. That's a whole different topic for another day. Uh, thank you for visiting us. Uh, have a great day, and we'll see you on the other side.